Well, a crewman who was injured in a deadly Labor Day dive boat fire in California is suing the owner of the boat. Ryan Sims filed a lawsuit in Ventura County last week, alleging the boat was unsafe. Senator de Los Santos reports. This is a 10-page complaint filed by Conception crew member Ryan Sims. He's suing Truth Aquatics and Conception's owner, Glenn Fritzler, claiming the dive boat shouldn't have been operating. The lawsuit was filed last week. In it, Sims claims the Conception's owners were negligent and failed to properly train crew members. He also claims the company didn't provide adequate safety and medical equipment or provide safety rules. The lawsuit also says the boat wasn't properly inspected. NTSB investigators say five crew members were sleeping on the upper deck of the boat when the fire broke out early Labor Day morning. According to the lawsuit, Sims woke up to loud noises and realized the boat was on fire. The NTSB previously talked about Sims' experience based on interviews with all of the surviving crew members. He tried to get down a ladder. Flames had engulfed the ladder and so the crew that was on the bridge had jumped down to the main deck and one had broken their leg. They had uh, went to the double doors of the galley to try to get in. Uh, to get to the passengers, but it was engulfed in flames at that time. The complaint says that Sims is the one who jumped from the top deck, breaking his leg in three places and injuring his back and neck. Ken Curtis, the owner of another dive company called Reef Seeker, says in an interview just after the fire, it was a tragedy that no one expected. He also commented on the existing safety features on dive boats. First of all, there is no way to lock people in the bunk room, even if even if you wanted to. There is an escape hatch at the back end of the bunk room, and the boat has firefighting equipment. Well, it's unclear whether or not the passengers could access that equipment or even knew about it. Sims is seeking damages to cover medical losses from his injuries. A sixth crew member who was sleeping below the deck was one of the 34 people who died in the fire.